What up, though? It's your boy October Duncan, and today I'm doing a video on uh, how to uh, set up reoccurring payments in your Coinbase. Um, now, if you follow my channel, if you watch some of my videos, uh, mostly I do tutorials and stuff as of right now, but sometimes uh, I mention, like, I like to, I, you know, I always advocate for like dollar cost averaging. So, for those, those, those people who don't know what dollars cost averaging is, you know, you pull up the, uh, you know, um, I put up the uh, uh, like a quick Google of it, so you know you can take a look. It's uh, I'm sorry, I'm burping. I don't know I just had a coat. Sorry about that. Uh, it is is a uh, it says understanding dollar cost averaging. It is also a way for an investor to neutralize short term volatility in the border equity market. A perfect example of dollar cost averaging is uh, is its use in 401k plans. In which regular purchases are made regardless of the price of any given equity within the account. So you're just gonna keep buying uh, Bitcoin regardless of the price. So let me go back. I'm sorry about that. We go all the way to our home screen on Coinbase. I don't have much more Coinbase. Um, we go to uh, our portfolio, and let's say you will go to your, you know, your Bitcoin or whatever like that. And you would go to buy, hit the buy button. And right here where it says one-time purchases under the dollar amount, let's say you just want to do, like if your dollar cost averaging, you know, you, you don't want to put an amount that you're going to be sore with, you know, between paychecks or whatever like that, because you'll probably be investing with your paycheck. So let's just say that you can only spend like 10, 15 bucks. Let's say 15 bucks, you know, and you would just hit this uh, one-time purchase button and change that to, Every, you know, you can change it to every week if you get paid weekly, every Friday, maybe, um, you know, first and 15th, maybe for teachers or something like that, or military people, you may want to do once a month. But uh, you can set yourself up, you know, a reoccurring payment and then just hit, you know, then you obviously, you know, you set up the, uh, let's say we did first and 15th, right? Uh, and we set it up, set up my Capital One. Um, and then uh, we just preview the buy. And then you can see, you know, what, you know, the terms of what that will look like. Um, so that's a good, great way to get in and you can forget about it. And then you can just keep accruing cryptocurrency, whether the price is up, whether it's down, you just know that you're invested. And uh, I recommend it to, you know, maybe like an older crowd, especially who doesn't really care and doesn't want to be looking at charts every day because it does get annoying. Definitely, you know, think about dollar cost averaging and getting in, you know, exposed to Bitcoin that way because you don't need thousands of dollars. You know what I mean? You don't need all of that. You can just dollar cost average your way in. All right. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Peace.